A little over 10 years ago, my then-husband had an affair that resulted in Isabella, 9. We got a divorce and I made it clear that I wanted nothing to do with Isabella. Isabella's mom was not a citizen and was deported when Isabella was 2. Then last year, my ex passed from a heart attack. I have two kids, 30 female and 34 male. My son didn't want anything to do with Isabella, and my daughter, sister-in-law and grandkids, three female, five male, were living out of the country, so Isabella went into foster care. My daughter and her family moved back to our country a few months ago, and as soon as they bought a house and were settled, they took Isabella in. My son and I both told her that we didn't want anything to do with Isabella, that we do not consider her family, and that she will not be included in family events. As a result of this, my daughter didn't visit or even call on Thanksgiving, Christmas, or my birthday. Last weekend, my son-in-law went on a guy's weekend and my daughter asked about staying with me for the weekend with the kids. I told her that I don't want Isabella in my house, but she made it clear that either she brings Isabella or she doesn't visit with the kids at all, so I gave in. I always give my grandkids a present when they visit, usually a toy and an outfit. When my daughter got to my house, I gave my grandkids their presents and my daughter some cash as a housewarming gift, but I didn't get anything for Isabella. My daughter immediately gave Isabella all of the money I gave her, $500, and told her to say thank you to Grandma. I stepped in and told my daughter that I'm not Isabella's grandma and never will be, and that money wasn't for her. She gave me all of their presents and told the kids to go to the bathroom because they were leaving. My daughter ended up spending the weekend with the kids at a hotel and hasn't spoken to me except to curse me out and say I'm not going to see her or the kids for a very long time. I told her beforehand that Isabella is not my family, so I don't know why she kept trying to push her on to me and expect me to treat her like family. My son agrees with me, but my daughter is keeping my grandkids from me because of this, so I wanted to know if I was the a-hole. Your daughter is really wrong for coercing a child you have repeatedly said is not your family, and to be fair to you, she is not. You're allowed to maintain that boundary. Where you messed up is inviting this child over and then singling her out. As others have pointed out, Isabella is innocent in all of this. You don't need to have her in your life, but don't invite her in and then treat her badly. Your daughter did a kind thing to adopt her sister, but she is an a-hole for stomping all over your boundaries. She is well within her rights to go low contact or no contact with you, since she has adopted her sister and she knows that you and her brother will not accept the situation. That said, she needs to make a hard choice and stick with it. Everyone sucks here. I'm going to be the odd man out here. Everyone sucks here. She's a child and innocent in this. You shouldn't be taking it out on her. Your daughter is an a-hole and should not be forcing interactions with her, as you have stated you do not want a relationship with the child. To me, no one is innocent here. You and your daughter want completely separate things, and to me there's no room for agreement. Forcing you into being grandma for your ex is a fair child is not going to bring you into accepting the child. But taking it out on the kid is no good either. My advice? Get a therapist and take a break from each other. This may not be popular, but not the a-hole. You don't have any obligation to other people's kids. You've been very clear from the beginning how you felt. That said, I think it shows what a lovely, amazing daughter you have that she took in her half-sister. But she had zero right to try and force Isabella on you. She could have dropped off her kids with you and had a fun sister's weekend with Isabella, rather than try and force a relationship between the two of you. And then she blew up at you for sticking to a decision you made a decade ago. That's not okay. She might not be your family, but she's your daughter's blood sister and a human being. Stop visiting the sins of your husband on her. She didn't do anything to you. She's had a crap deal in life, and it sounds like your daughter is the only person who has compassion and empathy. You're the a-hole, not about the present, but about how much you hate this poor kid. My sister-in-law has been living with us rent-free for about a year and a half now, so she can save her money. She found out a few months ago she's going to have a baby and made somewhat of a big deal about no one offering to do a gender reveal party for her when there was a gender reveal party for their other siblings. My wife and her other siblings felt bad about it and went ahead and threw her a gender reveal party at her other siblings' house. It wasn't as planned out as the other gender reveals, but we made use of the previous gender reveals leftover decor, made food and played games. Admittedly, this was a much better party than I could have thrown to anyone else and thought she appreciated it. A month or so later, wife and her siblings decided to plan a surprise baby shower for her. She wanted to use our house for it this time because our house is a bit bigger, so we can invite more of their relatives and more of her friends. 
My wife knew I'd be against using our house because we always end up doing all the decorations and end up cleaning the mess after. I also told her doing a surprise party for someone else's milestones are never a good idea, but whatever. She said she'll do all the planning and only invite the people closest to her sister. I was okay with that idea and the planning continued. A week or so later, her sister found out we're doing a surprise baby shower for her because she went through her boyfriend's text messages and saw their convos. She then reached out to my wife and told her that she doesn't want us to throw her a baby shower because she wants it a particular way and she doesn't want to be upset if it doesn't turn out the way she envisioned. My wife was shocked by this. I was not. I thought this works out for me as I really didn't want to do all that work until she tells me that she still wants to use our house and use our money for the decoration and the food that her sister chooses. I told her absolutely not because her sister's ideas of partying includes a lot of alcohol, drama, and disrespect to other people's properties, and the party would not go far before I would tell everyone to get the duck out the house. Now she tells her sister this, who is still living with us by the way, and now is upset with me because she has no money to pay for a venue for this event. I suggested using her other sister's house, and she complained that she doesn't have the layout that she's envisioned for her party. I said too bad, and left it at that, as I thought there was no point to arguing with her. My wife agrees with me, but she doesn't know if she's being biased since I'm her husband. Her other sibling thinks I'm an a-hole because they already did the previous party at their house, so it's our turn. And her pregnant sister obviously thinks I'm an a-hole because the house isn't technically in my name, and I don't pay the mortgage. I pay for the rest of our bills and food though, but she doesn't realize that all that adds up costing me more than the mortgage, so I shouldn't get to decide. So am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Sister-in-law sounds very entitled. You and your wife are allowed to have boundaries. It's incredibly rude of someone to want to take over your house for a party and use your money to do it. Here's an idea. Why can't this be done at her boyfriend's house or her house? She doesn't get to make demands about someone else's house. How entitled is this woman? Is she at least planning to move out before having the baby, or will you be stuck with her for years? Not the a-hole. Tell the other sibling you'll have the party at your place, but in return, sister-in-law will move into their house. After all, it's their turn to house her now. If they don't budge, then plan a fishing trip for the day of the shower, and tell wife that any damages to the house will come out of her fun money. I, female 19 have an older brother, male 28. He has a wife, Kate, female 27. When Kate and my brother first got together five years ago, Kate always tried to make an effort to spend time with me. She's an only child and keeps saying about how she's always wanted a sister. I like Kate and I think she's lovely, but recently I found being around her very emotionally exhausting and I'm going to give reasons why. Firstly, I'm a student studying to be a pediatric nurse. I'm still in my first year. Kate and my brother had their first baby who's now seven months old. Kate keeps asking me medical questions about the baby. He was born prematurely, which is fine, but many of the questions I don't feel comfortable answering with certainty, so I keep telling Kate to ask her pediatrician at their next visit. We live in the UK, so medical care costs aren't an issue. Kate seems to understand my point of view, but then keeps coming to me with complicated questions again and again. Secondly, I used to visit my brother and Kate's home frequently to chat and socialize, but now whenever I visit, Kate insists I do housework, as she's a stay-at-home mom and struggles to keep up with chores whilst taking care of the baby. I don't mind lending a hand, but whenever I visit, it feels like Kate is only interested in having me do chores. Lastly, whenever I visit, Kate complains about my mother and insults her. She complains that my mom never offers to babysit or help out with housework, even though she lives down the street and she says that my mom works too much and should prioritize her grandbaby, and that she needs a village, not an absent grandmother. I know my mom adores my nephew, but she's a very busy woman and has bills to pay. This is my biggest issue out of everything and what makes me the most uncomfortable, as I don't think my mother deserves to be talked about like that. I know I'm biased because she's my mom, but still. For all these reasons, Kate has been making me really uncomfortable. I understand that she's a new mother and likely overwhelmed, but this has been going on ever since the baby was born. I've tried to talk to Kate about these things, but she doesn't really listen and accuses me of not supporting her or trying to destroy her self-esteem. I talked to my brother about it, and he said that Kate isn't doing too well mentally and is seeing a therapist and says I should just smile and nod. It sounds bad, but I just don't really want to hear it. 
I've been avoiding Kate and now she's upset with me and ignores my texts and has been making passive aggressive Instagram posts about me. My brother said I need to apologize to Kate and start visiting more often again, but I don't think I'm the one who needs to apologize. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. I would make one more suggestion to your brother, that she needs more help than she is getting, and that you're not able to provide that. And if that means going low contact, it'll be sad, but I think it's the best thing for you. She needs more than you can provide. Not the a-hole. Has she shared her mental health struggles with you? I mean, feeling overwhelmed is one thing, but expecting everyone else's life to revolve around hers cause she had a baby is not cool. I had a friend that demanded I baby-proof my home just in case they visited. No. If she shared her struggles with you, you could talk to her about the situation like an adult, but because she hasn't, they're all just rude requests and comments. Not the a-hole. You are not their pediatrician. You and your mom are not their babysitters. Medical school is stressful regardless of what country you're in. You should go low contact and she needs therapy. She's overwhelmed and your brother isn't around enough to give her the support she needs. Being mentally exhausted can affect your studying. That's not fair to you. I, 52 male, and my fiancé, M, 29 female, are currently expecting our first child. M is currently six months pregnant, and she has been planning a baby shower with all of our nearest and dearest, which is due to be held next month. M has told me that she would love for my daughter, B, 23 female, to attend the shower, as she wants B to have a good relationship with her new sister, and some of the games that M has planned would work out better if B attended. However, B and M do not see eye to eye. B is very low contact with me and does not speak to or interact with M unless there is an urgent need to do so because of a series of arguments they had over the last few years. I reached out to B and her wife and asked if they would please consider coming to the party for my sake, but B flat out refused. She did this very rudely, I might add, and called M some unsavory names via text. This really upset M, who was in tears for days and the stress of our baby not having a relationship with her sister made her feel ill and she was lying on the couch quite literally shaking for hours at a time. She personally texted B, I had to give her B's number to do this, and begged her repeatedly to please come, and B blocked her. I was incredibly worried about M and wanted to convince B to come to the party. So I have some very sentimental jewelry that once belonged to B's mother, my former wife who sadly died many years ago. B was not aware I and M actually have this jewelry, but it includes B's mother's engagement ring, which I had told B was lost. I messaged B and told her that I have the jewelry, and if she agrees to do this one thing for me and come to M's baby shower without pulling any stunts or theatrics, and she plays along with the games on M's special day, I will give her the jewelry. B's wife then called me and told me I was holding the jewelry hostage as a bribe and it did not belong to me with the way I have treated my dead wife's memory. She asked if I would be willing to give B the ring anyway as a gesture of goodwill. I told her that was not going to happen, and if they did not come to the party, then I will give the jewelry and the ring to M, who my dead wife would have loved. B and her wife have since called me and M selfish a-holes, and are still refusing to come to the party. M has taken my side and says that it was a fair trade-off, and she is still beside herself with illness over the party. However, my sisters and B's maternal family have been attacking me over this, and I'm worried I have permanently ruined my relationship with my daughter. All I wanted was for my unborn daughter to have a big sister to look up to and love. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole. Of course your daughter is struggling with your relationship. You're with someone that's close to her age, and she's creeped out by it. In addition to that, you crossed her boundaries by giving M her number when it's clear she doesn't want contact and then you took it even further by being emotionally manipulative. Stop daydreaming. Your unborn kid isn't going to have a relationship with her big sister. You've ensured that by being a really awful parent. Edit. Holy crap, Biscuits. I just read that she's your daughter's ex-girlfriend. Here, have my A-hole of the day award, OP. What the duck did I just read? Your child bride is a drama queen. You are a terrible father. You actually told your daughter that you would give her dead mother's jewelry to M? That is absolutely disgusting. Get your balls back from M's purse, be a ducking father, and tell M to grow up. Quite literally shaking for hours because your daughter doesn't want a relationship with her is ridiculous, and you're a fool for falling for her theatrics. M is six years older than your daughter, six years, and is playing you like a fiddle. 
I doubt your daughter's mother would have loved M. She would be disgusted at the treatment of her daughter. Give your daughter her mother's jewelry, you giant, giant a-hole. Yes, you're the a-hole. You're the a-hole. Why did you lie to your daughter and tell her her mother's engagement ring was lost when you had it? Did you tell a lot of lies to your daughter? You are not being a good parent. You are trying to control her through emotional manipulation rather than trying to genuinely repair your relationship with your daughter. I suspect you permanently ruined your relationship a long time ago with whatever you did that caused your daughter to choose to go low contact with you. You have had years to attempt to repair your relationship, and you've chosen not to.